since 1990. That's why we're going to show you how you might be able to detect this earlier at home. Thyroid cancer is on the ride, a multitude of factors, many cancers on the ride. One of the reasons is earlier detection. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you, what, what kinds of other things cause thyroid more, cancer? More radiation. Radiation you know. all around us. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But unlike <laughs> some internal organs, the thyroid gland is actually palpable in many people, meaning you can actually feel it, right? Exactly. So let's, let's, let's find our thyroids, everybody. So pick up your mirrors. And so basically, I want you to look at the area underneath your chin, not your Adam's apple. Feel for your Adam's apple. Which chin are we supposed to look at? <laughs> Okay, and then go underneath your Adam's apple to a little area right here. If you'll see the diagram, you'll notice that it sits underneath your Adam's apple. That's your thyroid right there. So what you're going to actually do is, for those of you who have a bottle of water in front of you, go ahead and open it up. And what we're going to do is actually put some in your mouth and hold it for a second. Hold it in That's your good. mouth. Look in the mirror, focus on the area we just talked about, and, it, and at the same time, I also want you to take your fingers and just kind of go right here, right around your neck, right here. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and swallow. <clears throat> so when you're looking in the mirror, first of all, you're looking for any lumps that you see moving while you're doing this. And what you're doing with your fingers is you're actually palpating or feeling to see if you feel anything that's hard, that's not really moving, and, or that even hurts when you touch it. And if any of those things are happening, this is when you want to schedule an appointment for your doctor and ask them to do a proper evaluation. It, right? it hugs your windpipe. So that thyroid gland hugs your windpipe. And the good news is a lot of people out there aren't feeling it because mm -hmm. it's not, that's okay. Yep. It's, what you're really looking for is feeling something that's, that's, that's maybe asymmetric, nodular. Right. A lot of people aren't going to feel anything. anything. They're just going to be like, well, I yeah. just feel my windpipe. And, and then that's on, okay. And then on top of that, if you do feel something, sometimes you might have thyroid enlargement or goiter, and that's not necessarily a cancerous situation. So some signs that something could be going wrong with your thyroid would be, one, you're know, having trouble swallowing. Every time you eat something, you feel like it's getting stuck somewhere. When you're talking, you almost feel like you're hoarse half of the time. Or just basic neck pain. Anything like that would be something that you want to make sure that you talk to your doctor about. But as we presented in the last segment with Tarek, most of the time, you may not have any of those symptoms. There may just be a little asymmetry, a little growth. Yeah. But the other big takeaway here is if you notice a lump in that area, it, it doesn't mean it's cancer. You know, it could mean an overactive thyroid gland, mm -hmm. secreting more thyroid hormone than you need. But here's the deal. You've got to get that checked out, too. Yes. <laughs> so if you notice an abnormality, bring it up with your doctor. Heck, if you notice it in someone else, like... We learned in the last segment, you could actually save someone else's life. Thank you, Dr. Right. Coming up for the first time in 13 years, the FDA has approved a new diet drug to help people combat obesity.